In the last chapter, we learned that intervals are the distance between two notes, and calculating the numerical value of an interval is very easy. Uh, if I ask you what is the interval from C to F, then remember you give C the number 1, D is 2, E is 3, and F is 4, and therefore from C to F is a fourth. Um, it's also very important to remember that the number that you're the, the note that you're starting on always gets the number one. So, for example, if I say from G to D, then G now gets the number one. A is two, B is three, C is four, and D is five. So, therefore, from G to D is a fifth. This chapter we're going to explore intervals much more in depth, and I want to start this discussion by talking about two intervals that have special names. The first one is called an octave. If you go from G all the way up to G, numerically, you get eight. But instead of calling it an eighth, you actually call it an octave. The other interval that has a special name is the unison interval. If you go from G to that very same G, then numerically it's one, okay? But instead of calling it one, we call it unison, okay? Now, a couple other things to remember with intervals. We always calculate the interval from the lowest note. So, for example, if I say, give me the um, interval from C down to G, okay? If we just count up C, D, E, F, G, then we get a fifth. But we always have to start from the lowest note. And in this case, it's a G. So we say G, A, B, C, it's a fourth, okay? So this interval is a fourth, okay? Remember, you always start from the lowest note, okay? The other thing, uh, is simply a way, another way of naming the intervals. If the intervals are separated like this, whether it's up or down, then they're called melodic intervals, kind of like a melody, okay? If they are stacked on top of each other, like this, then they're called harmonic intervals. Um, think of harmony like a chord, okay? So melodic and harmonic intervals, all right? Do a little practice with this, and then we're going to talk about something called the quality of interval in the next lesson.